I'm worth my weight in gold multiplied by platinum So you could keep the plaques, my nigga, I keep the rapping Empty stats, crooks in the game, no impact Sold your soul now, you will sell your soul to get it back It's the guy G-Holy, repping G-Holy.com Alright man, so let's just get right into it, right? Recently, I was watching the Math Hopper show Like I always do, get a lot of fucking content from over there Just cause niggas be having barbershop talk And I just come over here and talk about the shit They was talking about who the fuck was it? It's 2.22 a.m. Who was talking about... I just always acknowledge those numbers. Who was talking about... I mean, who was the best rapper in 1998? That's what they was talking about. And they were saying it was between cannabis and pun. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all niggas remember, bro. This, this, this... Listen, the curious case of cannabis... It's going to be studied for ages to come. For ages to come. Because niggas act like that nigga wasn't the scariest rapper in the world we had ever seen up until that point, yo. I don't know where the fuck this thing came from. Don't ask me. I don't know, yo. I just, I just, the shit wasn't just there. I don't know. Right? This nigga was so scary in 97, 98. I don't know if you can compete with him. I don't know. I don't, I don't, listen. 98 was such a beautiful, wonderful year. You know what I'm saying? So, so much so that I named a entire tape off of 98. Like, 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 my, I had a tape called 98. You know what I mean? So that's how influential... 1998 was but big pun was a front runner and he and big pun is an alien but the impact that cannabis had like if we're comparing big pun to cannabis at that time now if you want to go big pun maybe a year later two years later it's like a little different story not that he wasn't dangerous in 98. His uh, debut was 98. I'm just saying, like, I don't know. Yeah, no, 98 was, like, peak pun, I guess, too. Damn, yo. Capital Punishment was 98? I got to think about this shit, bro. But it, it just was, like, I think that cannabis was, like, way too scary to rappers. To like say he wasn't the the one, like when niggas heard cannabis, this is what I'm saying. Ask Royce the Five Nine, ask Eminem. You know what I'm saying? All them dudes that's like that age. You know what I mean? Ask Jay how he really felt about cannabis. You know what I'm saying? Ask DMX. Ask them niggas who was in that cipher with him, Most Def and John Forte and all these. Ask these people. In 1998, who was the scariest nigga? I just said this the other day, right? Cannabis has never not had the best verse on any song he's been on. I stand by that. It's no song that Cannabis ever been on that he didn't have the best verse. It's one, matter of fact, it's actually one. It's actually one, but I think he, I don't think he got smoked. Other than that, he was smoking boots every time out. This is what I'm saying. Like, this is why I can't put pun over cannabis for 98 because they had a song together. And cannabis blew pun out the water. You know what I'm saying? Like, not that cannabis had the clear second best verse. Kind of like. He did Red Man. Like Red Man on, on the shit with A plus on the on the joint with A plus, excuse me, monetization. On the joint with A plus. Cannabis had the best verse, but Pun had the second best verse. I mean, sorry, Red Man had the second best verse. Just like Fantastic Four, Pun had the second best verse, but cannabis blew it out the water. Yo, listen, it was to the point where. I forgot 97 Mentality was a Kappa Donna song. And I love Kappa, bro. And I love what he did on that. 
I think The Pillage is a top five Wu Tang album, but that's just that's another story for another day. But 97 Mentality is a cannabis. This is what I'm saying. Cannabis was doing that Wayne, bro. If cannabis rhymes on your beat, you might not have that song no more. His impact was crazy for 365 days. For 365 days, he fucking terrorized the rap industry. The, every rapper. It was nobody. You can't say that niggas wanted, people wanted to, was eager to get on a song with cannabis. Why would you be eager to get, like, I don't think that was a thing. Feel what I'm saying? So, I would have to say cannabis. But I'm not going to say cannabis. Because why are we talking about cannabis if it's 1998? 1998 is hard knock life. Flesh in my flesh. I mean, not flesh in my flesh. Uh, it's dark as and hell is hot. Like, 1998 is miseducation. 1998 is uh, nocturnal. Not Dr. Dre nocturnal. Uh, Held to skeleton nocturnal. You know what I'm saying? Long live Sean P. 98 is Nori debut i don't even know why we talking about cannabis and big pun like no disrespect to either one of them you know what i'm saying but hard knock life dropped in 1998 bro like these are the premiere albums from 1998 i think black star might have dropped 98 i could be wrong about that one but yeah, I don't, I don't, I really don't know why we talking about either of these people if it's 98. 98 is either Jay-Z or DMX. It's nothing, it's really nothing else to talk about. If you want to say Lauren from a, like just a pure musical standpoint, like that's fine. But we talking about top rappers of 1998. It's Jay-Z and it's DMX and it's nobody else. Everybody else was cool. We like them. We got introduced to Ja Rule. That's fine. We like him. He's cool. I think Mike Geronimo might have dropped another album around that time. Some. That's fine. Nori dropped. That's fine. Um, few other people. It's cool. We love him. We love them all. It's 1998. Come on. It's Fo it's Foxy. You know what I'm saying? It's Kim. It's it's it's. You know we being introduced to you know. Some some of the down south X is, is Cash Money, is Master P. Feel what I'm saying? It's a lot going on in 1998. But if you talking about who was that one in 1998, it's only Jay-Z and DMX. Shout out the, you know, the locks. Because they was ripping mixtape. Listen. 98 was the introduction to Fabulous. I first heard Fabulous in 1998. I first heard Juel Santana in 1998. Um, yeah, SDE was like... I think I heard the SDE bootleg like late 98. If I'm not mistaken. It might have been 99, but I'm thinking it's 98. Um, might have been 99. Uh... Who else did I get introduced to in 1998? Um, man, 1998, introduction. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know in the comments who am I missing. from? Am I missing anybody from 1998? And am I being disrespectful by saying that cannabis and big pun is not in the conversation? Because Capital Punishment, to me, just me personally, is not a classic album. You get what I'm saying? And... Cannabis album is far from a classic album. Not, let me just not say far like that, but it's like not even in consideration to be a classic album. You know what I'm saying? Just period to the masses. You know what I mean? Um, it's not as bad as people thought it was, especially in retrospect. Go listen to it right now. But he definitely has some misses on there, and the misses they still miss. They miss really bad, by the way. Um, Fat Joe. Fat Joe. Fat Joe was still blazing in 98. Um, who am I missing? Uh, I feel like I'm missing a big name, though. I say locks. 98. 
Roots, Roots, Roots 98. I believe, um, I believe, whatchamacallit was 98. I believe You Got Me was 98. You Got Me might have been 98. Possibly, possibly. I, I know that Eve was on that, and Eve wouldn't be properly introduced until Rough Riders Volume 1, 99, or might have been the end of 98, or early 99. Rough Riders Volume 1. Um, but she was on that root song. I think that was 98. So yeah, um, I can't, like, unless you're going to count Master P, because Master P was like smoking, smoking, you know what I mean? Um, LL, obviously, um, uh, which one called it dropped in 98? Uh, Takao 2000 dropped in 98, fire, super fire, but yeah, nobody... Nobody can compare to Jay-Z and DMX if we talk about 98. Am I wrong? Let me know in the comments. Am I tripping? F flesh, not flesh in my flesh. It's Dark and Hell is Hot and Hard Knock Life. Two classics. Not that it was no other classics in 98, but these is the top, this is top tier music and it was top tier artists. I don't know why we're talking about Big Pun and Cannabis if we talk about 1998 in particular. Um, but yeah, it's the guy Jolie Reverend Jolie dot com. I really want to know what y'all think in the comments. Like, let me know. And if you don't know nothing about nineteen ninety eight, just like look at other people's comments and just try to digest it or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, or if you want to go back in retrospect and try to like figure it out, that's cool. But I'm just saying, like, if you really, really don't know, just chill out. But yeah. Um. Oh, I just want to say I'm dropping only he is him in four days. Or when I get 2,500 subscribers. So, what they say, they say, um, if, like, when you get your car fixed, and they be like, 2,000 miles or two years. Whichever one come first. If <laughs> Four days or 2,500 followers. Whatever one come first. That's what I'm dropping. Let's get it. You actors, you just playing it on the net. These is real gun shit, get dangerous on the set. The road that grew from concrete is still in the mix. You don't get it. This flower's flower, nigga, just had drip. You know me, I'm a rapping ass nigga. I don't be rapping for no rapping ass niggas. They want features, but I ain't gon' back to back. What your funny words get back, I'll have to back to back niggas.